Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on converting a large number to standard form. Now what standard form is, is a way to represent really large numbers without having to write out lots of digits. And it also makes it easier for us to compare two numbers that are really big and have lots of digits without having to try and count the number of digits it has. Now to put a number in standard form, is to put it in this form, so something times 10 to the power of something, where the restrictions are that this number has to be between 1 and 10, so between 1 and 10, but not including 10, so between 1 and 9.9 .9 recurring, basically, so a single digit number, maybe with something after this decimal point, and B should be a whole number. So for example, if I had 3 times 10 to the 4, that's a number between 1 and 10, that's fine, and that's a whole number. And well, 3 times 10 to the 4 means 3 times 10 4 times. So that would be 3 times by 10 once, twice, 3 times, 4 times. So 3 times 10 to the 4 would be 30,000. And that would be in standard form. So let's do each of these numbers. We got 80,000. What would be the number that's between 1 and 10 on the front? Well, we can see that it's going to be the 8 if we ignore those zeros on the end. So it's going to be 8. And then let's think about how many times do we have to times 8 by 10 until we get to 80,000? Well, currently the decimal point is just after the 8, and the decimal point is moving once, twice, three times four times, and then the decimal points at the end, so it's times 10 to the 4. In this particular case, it's the number of zeros on the end would be that number there. But you have to be slightly careful, you'll see, when we get to something like this. So let's do the next one. What would be the number between 1 and 10? Well, if we put the decimal point here, it would be 3.75. That would be a number between 1 and 10. So it's 3.75 times 10 to the power of what? Well, the decimal point is here, 3.75. You've got to move it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 6 places until you get to the number that's here. So it's times 10 to the power of 6. Now, what about 2 billion? Well, billion means 1,000 million. So it's 2,000, and then million has 6 zeros. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So... Let's think, the decimal point is currently after the 2 because it's 2 times 10 to the power something. And then how many times do have to move? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 times. So it's times 10 to the 9. So if you have like 2 billion or 7 billion or something like that, it'll be times 10 to the 9, provided you have less than 10 billion. And if it was something million, so like say 8 million, it'd be times 10 to the power of 6.